man, he's gonna be high, that was like 20 or 30 hits of acid, man. So, I knew I was in trouble, so my goal was to get back to my house. You know, I made this video quite some time ago, maybe seven years ago, um, called it uh, LSD Fact and Fiction. Well, I was looking through it again, kind of glancing over my shit, and I listened to it, and I realized that I left out quite a bit of stuff. So I'm going to remake it. Why not? Um, basically, you know, LSD is one of those drugs, just like a lot of psychedelics, that have a lot of uh, mystery surrounding them, a lot of uh, misunderstanding, a lot of um, misinformation. Um, a lot of it's based on, shut the fuck up. A lot of it's based on uh, old wives' tales, and, you know, shit you hear at the schoolyard and from your friends, and I knew a guy that did this and that. No. Um, most of that, almost 98% of that is probably entirely bullshit. Shit that they heard. So here's the truth from someone who's done a truck ton of LSD. Well, maybe not a truck ton, but a lot more than most people can say. Along with shrooms, along with DMT. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm no uh, spring chicken to uh, psychedelics. But when it comes to LSD and spe specifically... Um, you know, I've probably taken over the course of my life. I'm 43 now, so I started doing LSD when I was about 15. But the course of my life, I've probably taken that I counted on individual tabs. Um, I'd say about 150 to 200 hits. You know, most of that was actually in one time frame, too. Most of that was between the ages of 15 and 19. And then, you know, I've done a handful since then. And then, of course, the uh, 20 to 30, the 30 hits of acid video. Um, that may have been 20 hits, but I'm not really going to even count that because I didn't, wasn't able to actually count how many. I just knew it was a lot. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I've taken, you know, at least 150. We'll, we'll just call that solid on that, bet my life on that. Um, well, you know, the old wife's tale that I heard growing up is that if you take more than seven hits, you're legally insane. Mm. Or was it seven hits at a time? Either way, I've uh, quadrupled that both, depending on, it, depending on whichever way you look at it. And I'm pretty much sane. I mean, I don't know. And sometimes I wake up sucking my thumb and screaming for my grandmother. But ah, I worked through that with my psychoanalyst. That's 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 a different issue altogether. So yeah, I don't really... I think we can dismiss the whole insanity thing. And the whole thing, you can plead insanity. You know, if you're on LSD. You know, if you get caught on, in a crime, murdering somebody, whatever. I mean, you know what? You can claim insanity for anything on any substance, but uh, good luck. The other one is um, different ways to take it. Now, this isn't advice by any means. None of this is advice by all, by any means. This is just my opinion and my experiences. To give you advice on how to do drugs would be against YouTube's terms of uh, use, and uh, I'm not giving you advice. But I will say this. What I have heard and I have tried, uh, like they say, putting LSD into your eye make you hallucinate more. Not in my experience. I've tried that about half a dozen times. Um, we used to put you know, the tabs in our corner of our eye like that. The only thing that that did is probably gave you a placebo effect that you were going to see more or that you were having stronger tracers or hallucin hallucinations than you normally would. Now, all it really did is like give you a really you know red eye, make you look even more fucked up than you already are. So I wouldn't recommend that either. Um, differences between chewing and sucking on it, put it under your tongue, swallowing it. Um, I've done all of the above and I haven't noticed one to be any more particularly strong than the other or uh, more fast affecting. Now I guess like the mucous membrane in your mouth, you know, same with up your ass, if you want to put it on your ass or even your eye for that matter, might absorb quicker, but I don't think it's anything worth doing. I don't think it's anything that's going to be noticeable. Uh, so. I would just put it in your mouth, suck on it, chew on it for a little bit, and swallow it. I'm sorry, I wouldn't do that. That's what I have done. I wouldn't, I'm not recommending that to you. But uh, that's what I've done, and I haven't noticed any substantial difference. Um, what are some of the other ones? You always hear this stuff about like people like going permanently tripping, permanently insane. You know, or like continually frying. I doubt it. I mean, I've heard that, and everybody somehow has a sister's grandmother's cousin who did that, and is in the mental institution. I don't know a single person and you know the amounts of LSD that I did especially the 30 hits one if somebody was going to be stuck you know I mean yeah I did trip a lot harder or did you know lasted a lot longer permanently no no I mean you'll think it might be <laughs> uh, it might worry you some that it is but uh, 
I don't think so. Now, you know, can you poison yourself with it by taking enough? Possibly. Probably. I think, you know, if you drink enough milk, you'll get sick. I mean, I mean, there's a lot of things. I But I don't think that if you take too much, you know, you're going to, you know, stay tripping forever. Now, when we say too much, I mean, we're talking, you know, not, like if this whole bottle is full with liquid LSD and I drank it, would I die? Possibly. Would I stay permanently fucked up? Possibly. Don't know, but who the fuck has a bottle of LSD like this and who's stupid enough to drink it? So, I don't think you have to worry about it taking normal amounts or even 10 times the normal amount. I don't think you really have to uh, consider that as a possibility. Uh, the other one is um, if you uh, you know get caught with LSD, it's like manslaughter or something like that. I, that was an old one that I heard too when I was a kid. And uh, no, I've known people that have gotten caught with LSD. I know people who got sentenced and they were sentenced to being in uh, possession of a controlled substance. So, that being said, it's no worse than getting caught with, say, cocaine or meth. And depending on what state you live in and what country, that may vary to some degree, but here in California in the United States, possession of LSD is considered a controlled substance. And a controlled substance could be a lot of things. It could be cocaine, meth. That might even fall into the prescription of, like, being in possession of uh, prescriptions, pills that aren't your, you don't have prescription for don't know exactly the law about that, but it's not attempted manslaughter. It's not something stupid like that. It, it's a drug classification. It's not a low-level one, but it's not like getting caught with a kilo of heroin or a fucking smoking gun. So, you know, um, for those of you that care and wanted you know, to really hear the truth of it, that's the truth from someone who's done a lot of LSD. Someone who's known a lot of people that's done LSD, and, uh, you know, most, like I said, 98% of that shit's rumor. Now, I do agree with... Turn the fuck up! Now, I do uh, agree with uh, some findings that doing psychedelics and hallucinogens, um, LSD, shrooms, DMT, anything of that nature, uh, peyote, and stuff like that, mescaline, uh, before your brain actually forms, like before you become an adult and mature, which they say is like, you know, the brain continues to develop, they say, growing and building brain cells and bullshit like that, up until you're about 25. Um, so... You know, it probably is unwise to experiment with large amounts of psychedelics, you know, at the age that I did when I was 15. But I'm okay, kind of, sort of. But yeah, I mean, other than that, I'm all fine. So uh, yeah, I mean, take that for what it's worth. But, uh, you know, breathe in the air, we breathe is uh, hazardous to your health too. Good luck. Stay tripping.